So today I'm going to talk about a couple things that have to do with making the spreadsheet a little bit more easy to read uh, and um, more aesthetically pleasing. So I'm going to talk a little bit about spacing, um, text, wrapping of text, alignment, the number of decimals, and the use of color, and maybe indicating input cell cells. So I'm going to look at this. This is the I'm in the winter of 2017 spreadsheet for entering grades, and I mean, I know we haven't you haven't taken these classes yet, so this is sort of just a um, a mocked up version of it. But if I look at it, what I tried to do here is to indicate um, what might be input values, but it's not really very clear. So I'm actually going to um, get rid of that um, spacing that um, fill. So I'm going to start from nothing, and you can see that it's a little bit hard to read this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to look at um, the spacing of the columns. So this, I think, can be a little bit smaller column. I can make it a little bit like that, um, move all this stuff over a little bit so it's a little bit tighter looking in there. Um, so that's what I'm going to do that. And you can see how I'm just sort of putting my, putting, um, the cursor on the edge here and moving it over. But see what happened was that this got kind of cut off because it goes into the next um, area. So this is about text wrapping. So if I put wrapped text, it actually puts it on the next um, line instead of going over to the next line. So this one, if I did wrap text, it would all go into that. But I don't really like what that looks like. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to merge these columns, um, though, yeah, merge those columns. And it's still not quite right, so kind of I'm just fooling around here with the spacing of this stuff. I want to also merge those, those, but I also want to wrap it so it kind of looks like that. So it kind of shows you that this is the calculation of the overall GPA, and this is the calculation of the um, major GPA. I don't really like that zero there, so I'm going to take that off. We have another problem here because it says total units. So I'm going to see what that looks like if I, um, if I, I don't really like that. That's a little bit too crowded. So I think I'm going to move it over here so that it's a little bit more in line with that 18. Um, and I also want to kind of put the highlight here that this is some sort of area that's um, the calculation of major GPA. So I'm going to color that one color and I mean of total GPA and this I'm going to color a different color. Um, looks like I have a reference problem here because I needed to add um, if that value is IME I'm putting a value there and that's not what I want. I don't really need that that particular column. That is for up here. Checking if this is IME, I'm going to calculate the major GPA. Oh, actually, I want to put it all the way over here for major GPA. So you can see this is where I'm coloring this section for the GPA. Um, I also want to indicate something about this area. So I'm going to... This is all the input area, so I'm coloring it, oops, I'm coloring it a different color for input. So in my mind, I'm saying that this sort of light gray color is where you can input all the rest of it. The rest of it is um, calculated. Partly, I don't really like this either. I want this to be more centered, so I'm putting it up here to make the center. Um, I also think I would like to put a... Uh, an underline there to show that these are the headings and I think I also want to put a line on top here, top border on that. Um, so now I kind of have these three sections. I think that looks pretty good. I don't like that that T is a lowercase. I'm going to put that. Um, I also don't like that it's kind of... I'm going to move that over a little bit. Um, so that looks a lot better to me. Um, it looks like a lot cleaner and a lot more aesthetically pleasing. I think I'm also going to put here that this is input. 
So that val those values indicate that I'm going to put an input into that area. That looks pretty good. So I've also sort of did the same thing here for that, but I kind of want to make a couple more changes here. I want to put an outside border on that. I want to put an outside border on that. It's a little bit different colors. I probably should have been more consistent on the colors, <coughs> but I kind of like what those look like now. So this is just a, a little bit of a, a good way of putting together a spreadsheet by using a little bit more aesthetically pleasing information. So I hope that helps you to look at the different ways you can kind of make it look neat and clean.